Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drones. So today we've got a new drone from KF Plan. I've never ever seen any of their products before. This is the KF 600. So this is the box it comes in. As you can see, it's got hold position, gesture control, selfie mode, and double camera. So in other words, it's got optical flow. So let's just have a look at the drone itself. So in the box you get the drone, the controller, set prop guard, set spare props, and the screwdriver. So this is the drone itself. And now that you can see it's different looking than virtually everything else on the market at the minute. So it's got downward facing props at the rear and normal props at the front. It's got an adjustable 720p camera. So that's the camera, it obviously connects to the app. And you record from the app, there's no SD card on this model. Um, under these you've got your optical flow sensor, as you can see there. I love the way this thing's put together, it's very, very quality looking. It's got some LEDs at the bottom, you can see there, there and I'll show you in a minute when I power it up. It's just the shape of it, it's like an egg with two with arms stuck at the front and back. It's got brushed, geared motors, and the controller is very reminiscent of Virtually everything at the minute, it all seems to have this fake antennas on the top, obviously. But it is, the buttons aren't labelled, so it's got three speed controls on your left hand button. You've got a 360 flip button there. You've got these are your trim buttons L, R, F, and B. So they all refer to this stick. So left, right, forward, backwards. So there's your trim buttons. Take off, auto take off, auto land, reset. I think that's like, I haven't tried it, but I don't know what it does. I presume it's going to be a way of calibrating. You can calibrate like that, but I'm guessing that's what it's for. I didn't try it. And headless mode, again, which I've never, ever used. So that's your controller. Takes three AA batteries, and your phone goes in here. Let's just turn it on. Single press on the top. And your typical way to bind these toy grade drones. So there you can see, really nice LEDs on the bottom. Really bright, they look bright in the sky as well. Now I've got some flight footage coming up at the end of this. You'll see me outside trying to battle it, there's about 15 mile an hour winds here, it, it didn't like it. You'll see, you'll see from the video, I've also got some footage inside so you can see how stable it is. But I've flown this before the other day and it is a nice little drone, it flies really well, but it's not, I would say, it's one of them for a calm day. The optical flow works well on it, the only thing I would say is it's a little bit twitchy. So in the yaw mode it tends to drift a lot in yaw and it can be a slightly bit twitchy. So if you, I'd be, care, be careful with it if you're a beginner pilot, fly it in, mo in speed mode one and just get used to it first at the slow speed because it can be twitchy when it's in the second and third mode. So it connects to an app and the app it connects to is, well let's connect to the Wi-Fi first. So the Wi-Fi you're looking at is Wi-Fi. See that? Hell of a glare today, sun's out. Wi-Fi flow. Just connect to that. And then the app itself you connect to is called Upfly. So on here you've got, look at your photos and videos you've already taken. You've got your start button, and your start button will enter you into the app. And there you go. It's a nice glare, but you can see it's not that bad on the, on the lag. And to be fair, the app looked good when I was flying with it. It's not too bad at all for... This is 2.4 gig, not 5 gig, by the way. And like I said, the camera is adjustable, so you can adjust your camera up and down. Now, the video footage you're going to see isn't really fair, because it's not a good representation of it. You'll see the quality doesn't look bad, but the, the fact that the quad is all over the place is simply due to the fact that the wind is horrendous and it's far too small to fly in this kind of wind. But it is a nice little drone. I love the way it's finished off, I love this design. One thing I will say is do not take off in long grass because your props are upside down. And also, if you're replacing the back props, make sure you put them on the wrong way around. So, all props tops should face upwards even if they're on the wrong way around even if you're putting them upside down so make sure the downside of the prop is facing downside and that's to give it lift and if you put it on the wrong way it won't take off 
So all in all, I really do like it. It comes in at about £33, I think it was, from Banggood. Um, sorry, from Gearbest. Lots of people have got it at the minute. Um, I've seen a review of it the other day, and it does it does fly. It's not groundbreaking. It's nothing nothing different than everything else. But I do love the shape, and I do think for the money, it's a nice little gift if you wanted to get something for Christmas. The controller feels nice. It responds well to your controls. The optical flow does work well, and the optical flow doesn't seem to affect it in turning or anything when you're outside, like it did the other day on the other one I did on the SG900. So all in all, yeah, I think it's a decent drone. You wouldn't go far wrong if you bought this, um, but it's nothing groundbreaking. But as a Christmas gift, yeah, I think it'd be great. So, like I say, you've got the video coming up. Excuse the way it's flying outside because it was windy. You'll see at the Indian died shots that it is stable, and you're going to see something to tell you how good the video is coming from the camera. Have a fantastic day. Thanks very much for watching.